Ha ha. First off, their email address is paulm at bmail.com. Now, let's see. How do we do this? Log out. Login. Paul M at bmail dot l dot com. Okay, let's just do tennis fifty three. That's strange. Maybe just Paul M. Paul M, please enter password. Tennis 53. Yay! We hacked his email! There's nothing like hacking the Gibson. Anyway, Paul, the password is that silly name you called me when we were kids. If you've forgotten, I'm sure as heck am not going to remind you. Okay, Josie Park. Don't be silly, Paul. Of course you can talk to artists. It's not hard. If you're nervous, just Google artists. It will tell you everything you need to know. Really? What not to say to an artist? This painting is good. Be more thoughtful. Tell the artist why it is provocative to you personally. What is it? Not all art has to be of something specific. Tell the artist what you think it represents. I like the colors. Yours is a subjective opinion. Ask the artist why the color choices were made. Many viewers are tactless when it comes to an artist's work. I hope this will help you to avoid many of the pitfalls. Good luck. Thank you. Now, special offer from Tomo. Charles says, Paul, what do you mean you don't remember my password? I picked it specifically so both you and I would remember it. I'm going to drag you screaming into the digital age if it kills me. Paul, I'm going to be out of the office next week to meet with the charming widow. Could you do me a favor and check my email while I'm away? If I get anything important, give me a shout. Hi Paul, just a quick letter to let you know that everything is going great. Our new artist is fantastic, and I can't wait for the opening tomorrow. You will come, won't you? After all, you made this possible. I think we shall leave this open for now. Hey, are you done with that thing? It's getting kind of late. If you want to catch Claude at the gallery, we'd better head over. Joey, hmm. I'd like to talk to you. Uh huh. Let's see. This Meltzer Foundation sounds too good to be true. In my okay, nothing new. Right. That's all for now? Sure. Now, I don't think this go? is really too timed, horses, so... I wonder, should I take this opportunity to head over to the lighthouse? No, I think I'll get the full history of the picture before I go investigating it directly. He's really studying that glass of wine. Hello, man. I don't need to talk to him. Aw. He seems to really like that one. I don't need to talk. Let's go over here, then. He seems pretty engrossed back there. That's Nishanti, my next-door neighbor. Let's talk to Nishanti before we talk to anyone else. Hi, Nishanti. Rosa, you came for the opening. Oh, yes, I did. That's why I'm here. Good. It's so nice to see you out and about. Yeah, out and about. That's us. Okay, let's talk about Monique. I spoke to Monique. Oh, wonderful. That story is fascinating, isn't it? It certainly came in useful. You'll show me your story when it's done? You call those things stories? Shh! Hmm? I mean, sure, I'll show you. I'd be glad to. Smooth. <laughs> <coughs> Let's ask about Claude. Do you know anything about Claude Erden? Kind of enigmatic, isn't he? He's hardly said a word to anyone all night. 
because I think he's had a bit too many, if you get my meaning. Maybe I do, since I know where he's been all day. What do you think of that painting, The Dark Lady? It stands out, certainly. I don't know who the woman is, but she looks familiar. Really, I can't put my finger on who, but that expression, such a feeling of frustration and loss. But maybe that's the idea, the frustration and loss that we all feel sometimes. Very deep. Maybe. I'm going to look around some more. Of course, go and mingle. Don't let me keep you. We won't. Josie, let's have a talk with Hi, you. Hi, Josie. Hi, Rosangela. Are you having a good time? Great. We'll talk later. Or not. Bitch. Fucking ignorant. Let's see if Claude is Claude? hammered enough. Hey, you came. You're drunk. Very much so. Excellent! We need to talk about the Countess. Who? The Dark Lady. I don't talk about her. So you do know her. Don't try to understand my work. I haven't met a single person who really understands art. Not one. Really? Well, let's see. Who says I don't understand art? Hmm. You understand my work? All right. Tell me what you think of this painting behind me. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to say it's really good. Hmm. The hard lines are really provocative. The hard lines in this painting are really provocative. You think so, huh? Oh, yes. The hard lines against a soft world. Really? Excuse me. Okay, that was a bad choice. So, Claude... What do you think of this painting here? <sighs> it's very atmospheric. This painting is very atmospheric. Hmm. Candles and wine are atmospheric. Excuse me. Hmm. The sculpture? What about the sculpture? It looks impressionistic, whatever it is. Okay. Claude, we really need to talk about... What do you think of this painting here? Shit! Um... Yes, let's ask him why he chose those colors. Why is one side so colorful and the other so dark? Well, look at it. The darkness is eating away the color, overwhelming it. That's a bit bleak. It's a bleak world. Excuse me. Okay. We're on to something, I think. It's Listen, hard Claude. to tell. Tell you what, let's start over. Damn it! Tell me what you think of this painting behind me. <sighs> okay. Let's say they're really bright and they pop out at the you. The colors are really bright. They pop out at you. They pop. Sure. You're the viewer. If they pop, they pop. Excuse me. What can we From say about angle, this? It looks like a street corner. He must okay. be an artist. Let's see. So, Claude. What do you think of this painting here? I think... Does this painting represent darkness and shadow? It could. Is that what it feels like to you? Sure. Then it does. Excuse uh -huh. me. So, I think we may be on to something. Let's have a look at these paintings. These look like impressionist skyscrapers. Not bad, actually. Okay. Claude, we really need to talk about... What do you think of this painting here? Huh. Well... All we can do is try this one. I mean, you can't say you like the colors. You can't say the painting is good. And you can't just ask him, did it take a long time? Why is one side so colorful and the other so dark? Well, look at it. The darkness is eating away the color, overwhelming it. That's a bit bleak. It's a bleak world. Excuse me. Hmm. Are we onto something or not? Listen, Claude. Tell you what, let's start over. Crap! Tell me what you think of this painting behind me. Hmm. Right. Well. I'm not saying it's really good. 
the hard, hard lines, lines are painting. Do you think? Oh, real. Okay, let's go over here. I don't think Josie would like. Talk again. So we'll try. Does the shadow. Claude. What do you think? Hmm. I'm just gonna say, must have taken Did a long time. Did this take a long time? Not long. Only a lifetime. Huh? Excuse me. That's obviously not the way we want to put it. Listen. D tell me. <laughs> right. Well. The hard line. Oh. So Claude. What? And now we will say. Does darkness and shadow. And now we will Claude, say. Why is one? Well, that's a bit bleak. It's a bleak. Can I be forward? There we go. It's been a great pleasure talking to you. We really? figured out the right yes. mix. Very refreshing. You seem to have a greater understanding of art than most of the rabble here. I do? Listen, Rosangela, was it? Oh, call me Rosa. Rosa. I'm suffocating in here. I need a breath of fresh air. Come meet me out on the fire escape. We can talk more in private. Hey, way to go. Claude, where are you going? Just some fresh air, Joes. I'll be back. No worries. He'll be back after we talk. Spooky. Is it really so, you know, such a good idea to be out here? On a we night need to like talk this. About the Countess. Yes. She's so sad and angry. I wonder why. Hmm. Sad? Why is she sad? She's looking for something she lost. Yeah, her mind. It can be seen <laughs> her every thought. So straightforward. Why is she so angry? I don't know. I wish I did. I think she's being forced against her will. Being turned into something she shouldn't be. Like what? I don't know. How do you know her? I see her in my dreams. She's looking for me. She hasn't found me yet, but I'm hoping my painting will help. You want her to find you? Yes. She's trapped and looking to escape. She needs me to help her. She's chosen me. Oh, I get it. He's the chosen one. Why don't we ever meet anyone sane? <laughs> hmm. Now, it could be that she wants to be a spirit guide and he's slightly medium-ish. He just hasn't fully awoken and that's why he can't see Joey. I don't know. I'm not sure where this is going yet. Why did she choose you? Because of my work. She's dead. I think. But she will live through my work. Artists. Nuts. All of them. Claude, the Countess is dangerous. Dangerous? No. She's lost and angry, but not dangerous. I've met her. She's killed many times. You? Why would she seek you? You're not an artist. No, but I've still seen her. She's powerful. Power you don't want to mess with. I just want to help her. Hey, pal, helping ghosts is our turf. Just be careful, okay? Careful? Just who are you? How do you know so much about my dreams? I'm... well, I know things. Know things? Like what? That you're messing with stuff you don't understand. And you do? Well, I'm working on it. <laughs> that right. smile. Teach me. I need to know. Don't look at me, kid. Look, there's something about me. I shouldn't tell you, but you're in danger. What is it? Oh no! Look out! The creepy bitch! No! She's killing him! No! No, you didn't! Claude! How did she do that? She's a ghost. How did she do that? Suicide. Well, what else would they think? He was drunk and erratic and known to be temperamental. 
Just be thankful they didn't accuse you of killing him. Yeah. Yeah, that is very lucky. She killed him, Joey. Right in front of me. Us, kid. Us. I was there, too. He was opening up to me. I could have warned him. I, I could have helped him. It happened too fast. There wasn't anything either of us could do. It's not right. Newsflash, kid. The world's a rotten place. It doesn't have to be. We have to stop her, Joey. She can't kill anybody else. Look, darling, your aunt met that witch and barely survived. And no offense, doll, she had a stiffer spine than you. Maybe. But she didn't finish the job, did she? Not exactly, no. Then I have to finish what she started. Good night, Joey. Dun dun dun! Suspense! There's that creepy lady again. I'm proud of you, Rosangela. You are proving to be much stronger than your guide suspects. He thinks I'm stupid. Be wary of him. Follow your heart. Who are you? Shh. Sleep. Hmm. So tomorrow you have a challenge to meet, and you must be fresh. You won't remember me, but we will meet soon. Dun dun dun! And so another night passes. Good morning. Hmm, yeah, let's go. Okay. I think we'll leave it at that for now. I mean, that wasn't too much in that one little bit, but I think, you know, we've come far enough. There's a lot to take in now with all that's happened. And we still haven't even gone to the lighthouse. So when we come back, that's where we'll head. But for now, folks, goodbye. <laughs>